Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video by Reviews on Anything. My name is Peter and you're having a look at my keychain, keyring, keyhanger, whatever you want to call it. And this is a review about this multi-tool on my keyring. This is the Leatherman Squirt. And yes, a bunch of adult executives sat in a room and agreed that the name Squirt would be a good name for their new product launch. Baffling if you ask me, what a name. But anyway, it is the Squirt, it is what it is, uh, that is how it's called and the name should not distract us from the tool. Now, it does require you to put a clip on it uh, that you can take it on and off your keyring because I don't really see this being practical when you have to keep it on your keyring because this is truly a keyring utility tool because it is very small. You can see it here in comparison to a few everyday items like a normal set of pliers and some sunglasses. And of course, in my keys, you can see there is a small pocket light and a, a bit of paracord on it and the keys itself, of course, and you can really see that it is truly small. Especially if you compare it to Leatherman's other multi-tools, this is a sidekick, which is already not a very big tool to begin with, but you can really see the size difference here. And that is actually all you really need to know about this tool. The size difference really makes uh, the applications that you can use it for very limited. Uh, at the same time, the quality that Leatherman brings to the table also makes this a capable tool for its size. Uh, so you're not going to definitely replace your toolbox with this. Uh, you're also certainly not going to tackle any uh, big household jobs with this tool. But it is handy to have on your keychain, uh, which is the reason I got it, for little things. A little screw that's loose, a tie rip that's loose, something that go comes off your bike and needs to be reattached. Those kind of things it is perfect for. Now obviously you have the signature Leatherman uh, pliers on the top. They are sprung, so that's quite nice. You can use them with one hand. Uh, very handy for tight operations in small spaces. It has a wire cutter in as well, uh, if you want to cut a tire, for example, uh, or if you need to cut a small piece of wire to install a light fitting, for example. Uh, very small, very capable, uh, but very signature, very typical Leatherman that way. When you fold it up, you have all the tools on the outside of the multi-tool, which is quite nice, uh, meaning you don't have to fold it out completely like the Sidekick in order to utilize the tools. Now, I don't think I need to show you how a screwdriver works. I'm pretty sure you are familiar with a flat hat and a Phillips hat. Uh, so I'll just fold out all the tools and showcase them how it looks on the tool. Uh, you get pretty much what you can expect. So a bunch of screwdrivers, files, scissors, pliers, uh, wire cutters, keyring, and so on. Uh, and a tiny blade that I'll show you in a little bit. First of all, the scissors. Um, there is an available uh, tool that's called the Micra that have, instead of the pliers, have the scissors on the top. I consider that one as well because it's also, as the name suggests, a small multi-tool for on your keys. Uh, but I found personally that I gravitated more towards the pliers because I don't think I need scissors that often in my life, especially not scissors anything above nail clippers. So these scissors uh, in this tool are tiny. You can definitely clip your nails with it. Uh, but they are also good for you know, a, a small thing that you need to cut, small piece of paper, um, a cable, a tie rib, whatever it might be. Uh, so they're strong enough for that, uh, but nothing really beyond that. As you can see, uh, they're also you know tiny, but you can definitely do a little bit of fine tuning if necessary on something that's loose, something come off your bike, stuff like that. That's really what this is for. In a pinch, this is a tool that will help you out when you need it, which is also, again, the reason it lives on your keychain. I have the same thing with the little flashlight that you saw earlier that lives on my keychain. I don't need a flashlight every day, the whole day, uh, and it's certainly not you know strong and uh, long battery life enough to use everywhere, uh, but it is handy in a pinch when the light in my parking garage doesn't work, for example. Well, this tool is in the same category. Here you see the big file that you can use uh, for both metal and wood. And then we move on to the blades, which is uh, small, very small, uh, but in comparison to the tool, it is not bad at all. It's actually positioned very nicely so you can cut on the low end of the tool. Some of Leatherman's tools have the knife on the other side and then it's pretty hard to cut because you always need to work at an angle. This is a 3.9 centimeter long blade and it has a plain edge and it's made out of uh, 420HC steel with a hardness of 57HRC. Here it is in comparison to the Sidekick. You can see it is very, very small and again, the Sidekick is already a small tool. Benefit of the bigger tools is that you can use it one-handed. Uh, all the tools on this small multi-tool on the Squirt are, uh, you can't open the blade with one hand, for example. You can't really open the screwdriver with one hand because it is all uh, with nail pinch action. So uh, nothing crazy going on. You know, it's sharp right out of the box. Obviously, this is a brand new tool and you can definitely do some cuts with it, but you're certainly not gonna uh, do the barbecue party that way. So again, in the line of the tool, it is helping you out in a pinch, which is exactly what it is aimed to be. Overall, I think Leatherman has done a great job here creating a tool that is versatile and quality 
but still doesn't break the bank because this costs under 50 euros here in the Netherlands. And it is, uh, I think, simultaneously, its biggest strength and weakness is the size uh, because, uh, you know, it is very limiting in what you can do with it, but the things you want to do with it, it is perfect for. I think that is the good way to summarize this tool. For me, this was an excellent purchase. It does exactly what I wanted it to do. I want this to be an EDC tool that is on my keychain at all times. That's why, again, why I put the little uh, clip on it so I can take it on and off the ring as I need it. Uh, the pocket light has a similar feature. I can There's a, a holding clip on it that I can take it out of if I need it to put it somewhere. And this is nice because my keys are always with me, meaning the tool is always with me. Uh, the downside of that, obviously, is that it's going to get damaged. Uh, this video is shot like two weeks after I got it and it's already scratching. But that's a small detail. Overall, I think it is a great tool.